Welcome, everyone. Um, today, our session is going to be on Google Meet. We'll cover various topics here on Google Meet, but kind of the, the goal of today's session is getting enterprise ready with Google Meet. We've got Kim, an expert from our Google side, here to kind of lead you through the session. Um, if you do have any questions or comments during the, the call today, please feel to add them to uh, feel free to add them to the right hand side there on the, the YouTube link. We have a team of experts here that will be able to support you through the call answering those questions while, while Kim herself presents. And if you do have any questions, please add them. We'll get to them. And then, yeah, Kim, if you want to go ahead and take it away. Great. Thanks, Nick. Hi, everyone. I'm Kim Wynn. I'm a product marketing manager for Google Meet. Um, thanks for joining me today to learn more about Meet and how it can make your enterprise communications neat. Uh, I say this with great uh, confidence because we have dramatically transformed Meet over the past 24 months, we've added new features and overall just hardened the product uh, to make sure you and your colleagues have the tools you need to collaborate from the office and everywhere in between. Um, and the great news is, as uh, Google Workspace customers, Google Meet is included in your subscription, so you don't have to pay anything extra for a secure and easy to use conferencing product. So let's go and get into it. Um, as we all know, our world has changed, uh, especially the way we work. With today's work realities, the physical office is no longer the center of gravity for work, and uh, now remote and hybrid work are really uh, the new normals. Um, so we need a communication tool that can accommodate the nature of work differently and provide the right physical and digital spaces for each type of worker in your organization and also to think about how to replicate the effectiveness and energy of uh, creating together in the same room when you're actually not. And with hybrid work, we think it's important to maintain um, the following. Collaboration and creating uh, both together and apart, as I mentioned, um, to connect uh, effectively and maintain a sense of culture. And very importantly, to protect your corporate assets um, and privacy. As Meet is part of the larger Google Workspace ecosystem, I also wanted to spend some time on how we fit in. Um, first of all, Google Workspace has supported a fully cloud-based solution from its inception. So hybrid work was a natural transition for our users to work from any Google has a unique approach to addressing customer pain points, um, bridging communication and collaboration across email, documents, and communication tools is the magic of Workspace. And it's now the world's most popular productivity tool with over 3 billion users and more than 8 million paying customers. And it's important to note that organizations don't choose Workspace to simply replace their existing tools. Um, you all choose it to transform the way you work and get work done. And that's certainly true of Google Meet, which is at the center of how Workspace can provide meaningful connections, whether in the office, at home, or anywhere in between. So um, our core tenet for Google Meet is to provide secure and easy to use video calling and meetings um, to connect people wherever they are. Meet is also the only fully web-based video conferencing platform, and there's no download required whatsoever. It's uh, accessible from the browser, on your laptop, mobile, or tablet. But what else sets uh, Google Meet apart? Well, there are four areas we believe sets Meet apart from competitors. They are being flexible and helpful, helping users to be more collaborative, and providing a safe and secure environment. First of all, Meet is extremely easy to use and inclusive. We've worked hard um, to remove the barriers to having great meetings on any device. We also employ uh, AI-powered innovations to help people have a great meeting experience without them having to even think about it, like noise suppression, custom background, captions, and translations. Um, the next area that makes Meet different is around collaboration. We built uh, Google Meet to help teams and individuals work better together and enhance their interactions and meetings um, and to help things move forward. So we've done a lot, for example, to enhance workspace integrations with Docs, Slides, and the Jamboard app. And finally, we want people to feel secure and confident while discussing um, the most confidential company information. So security is paramount. 
Um, as you can see on this slide, we've done a ton to make Meet Enterprise ready. These are just a fraction of all the features we've brought to Meet over the past couple of years. I'll talk through uh, the key ones on the upcoming slides, but know that Google has put a lot of resources uh, behind making Meet a powerful, feature-rich solution for business communications that is uh, competitive with other conferencing platforms, if not uh, better in many areas. So let me walk you through uh, some of these features in more detail. So first of all, we provide support um, for large meetings. Um, and that's one way we make uh, meet flexible for growing businesses. While we're no longer fully working remotely, large meetings still continue to be important uh, because hybrid work, because of hybrid work. Uh, meet now has the ability to scale to support meetings of up to 500 people with a 49 grid view. So you can see a lot of people in one view. Um, and people in, in view dynamically change, will, uh, will change depending on what's going on in the meeting. But please keep an eye out on this space because we are working on ways to increase this uh, 500 number very soon. Next is breakout rooms, which is a feature that has been in high demand to enable small group discussions for training, education purposes, etc. cetera. Uh, this continues to be a very well uh, used and well requested feature Meet now supports up to 100 breakout rooms. Meet also supports live streaming for up to 100,000 viewers, depending on your workspace edition. Meet live streaming could be used um, for internal all hands, large college lectures, or even externally through, your YouTube, through YouTube for large town halls uh, or other public meetings. Um, greater inclusivity. Um, translations, recordings, and transcripts. This next set of features are all around how Meet can be helpful um, and be more inclusive. Uh, with real-time translated captions, Meet can help to break down language barriers or support people who might be hearing impaired. Um, this is acro uh, supported across a number of languages, including French, German, Portuguese, Spanish, and there are many more languages to come. Um, being able to navigate multiple language uh, for any size companies is really a valuable and helpful capability without having to spend more money on uh, translation. Recording in Meet is a very uh, helpful way to stay focused on the meeting without taking notes. It's also very helpful to have a record of the meeting that's automatically saved to Google Drive. The meeting organizer is emailed a link to the meeting, uh, to the recording that is, and it's also available to uh, everyone who attended the meeting as well, because the link to the recording is automatically added to the calendar event post meeting. Um, and one of the newest features is meeting transcripts in Google Docs. You can now transcribe a video meeting into um, Google Docs. Uh, um, and then it's the transcribed file is then saved into the host uh, meeting recordings folder in Google Drive. It's very similar to the way meeting recordings work today. Um, and it is incredibly helpful as meeting transcription can automatically capture the meeting discussion and making it easy um, to uh, follow up after the meeting or serve as a record. In the collaborative area, we've done a lot to help meeting attendees better interact with each other and better collaborate on content as well as have a better um, uh, presentation experience. With Q&A and polls, you can create better engagement with participants during the meeting um, by allowing them to ask questions. Meeting moderators can also create polls to query the audience for feedback or just to have some fun uh, with some icebreaker questions. Um, the next collaborative feature is the ability to present and control your slides directly from within Meet. Now, this seems like a simple feature, but having the ability to see your content, your controls, and your audience all in one place makes the presentation experience so much uh, smoother and enjoyable. And soon, presenters will also be able to see speaker notes as well. Um, and finally, perhaps the feature that really talks to collaboration is the ability to bring a meeting right into docs, sheets, and slides. You can co-edit on a document and still see everyone in the meeting. And this integration with Workspace it's certainly an area where Meet really shines compared to how other conferencing platforms handle um, co-editing in a meeting. 
And uh, the fourth reason that sets me apart, in our opinion, is the our industry leading security expertise. We help uh, protect user privacy with Google Cloud. Customers own their own data. We never sell your data. Um, secondly, our ability to encrypt data. Both uh, video meetings and cloud recordings are encrypted uh, by default, both in transit and at rest and stored in Google Drive. Uh, we have a number of, we also have a number of uh, controls for counter abuse, such as the 10 character meeting codes, uh, I'm not being able to join 15 minutes in advance, and other measures that include uh, only the right people, that, that ensure that only the right people have access to the meetings. And lastly, giving you the ability to be able to securely deploy and manage uh, meet user data. These uh, security protocols extend to all of the ways you can access meet. Of course, you can access meet from your laptop and desktop computers, from iOS and Android mobile devices and video conferencing devices, both from our third party partners and our first party Google Meet devices. As we embrace hybrid work and return to the office, conference rooms, and personal desktop devices will increasingly uh, be in, uh, important. And Meet's hardware portfolio is comprehensive to include first party and third party devices that are available for virtually any space and price point. And we offer um, uh, room kits so you can customize your room or integrated devices that offer um, both video conferencing and whiteboarding all in the same in one device. Now I'm going to share with you uh, some exciting things that we've already announced, uh, but that are coming later on this year. So starting off with uh, uh, improved call quality and uh, reliability for low bandwidth uh, environments, we continuously work to optimize the neat uh, audio video experience, even in low bandwidth. What you're seeing here is called Portrait Restore, where we're using AI to automatically enhance the image that's in low light. So whether you're sitting on the beach with low bandwidth or a dimly lit coffee shop, Meet is hard at work in the background so that users can have reliable audio and their video quality will have fewer freezes and reduced voidness. And on the opposite end, we're also working to give customers the best possible video and presentation experience especially when bandwidth is not an issue. Uh, we'll soon be supporting the next gen AV1 video codec, which uses half the bandwidth for current resolutions or twice the resolution at the same bandwidth. And the result is very high recording, streaming, and screen sharing. So from great video to great audio, Meet will also support spatial audio, which means you'll hear voices of meeting participants from the direction in which each person is positioned on the screen like it would be if you were in the same room. So a very realistic and high fidelity audio experience is coming soon. This next section is going to be about how we're improving the conference room experience, starting first with adaptive framing. Um, one of the challenges of joining a meeting from, uh, uh, from a conference room is that the conference room occupies the same size tile as other individual meeting participants. So it's really hard to see who is speaking in the room. Well, adaptive framing is AI technology from Google, Google and our partners um, that tracks the active speaker and even provides a view of uh, meeting participants so you can see the audience reaction. Um, so adaptive framing will help the remote end truly know what's going on in the conference room. And that's coming Q2 of this year. Uh, companion mode is a way for in-room participants to have access to the same tools as the remote participants like chat, Q&A, polls, and reactions. And we've been able to do that on our laptops, but soon you'll be able to use your mobile phone and tablet to participate as well. Another way to improve conference room presentation, uh, representation actually, is to help remote participants know the identity of the people in the room. Today, when I'm joining from a conference room, I'm identified as the conference room name rather than as Kim Wynn. But soon, I'll be able to check into the room so everyone in the meeting can know me by name. My name will also be in the meet participant list along with uh, all the other participants who are associated with that room. Now, I wanna talk about how we're giving customers many more options in Meet Hardware first 
We've enabled embedded interop between Google Me devices and devices from Cisco WebEx and Zoom. That means Google Me devices can call into WebEx and Zoom meetings and WebEx devices and Zoom rooms can join me calls. Uh, and, and this can be done very uh, easily with just a push of a button. Um, these developments just happened in the last four months, so this is great news for you, our customers, because it extends your calling networks. You can easily call your customers, your partners, who may not be on the same conferencing platform um, as your corporate uh, platform. And if you haven't already done so, please give it a try. It's so simple. It's just pushing a button. We'll also uh, be giving you more choice in Meet-supported devices. Just last week, Meet on Android appliances from Poly just G8 and is now on the market. And later on this year, Logitech is going to follow uh, with the same. Meet was previously only supported in Chrome OS-based devices, so we're now broadening our support to Android appliances to give you much more uh, choices in devices you can purchase. And because Android devices are platform independent, you have, and if you have existing Poly and Logitech devices that run another conferencing platform, you can just easily um, switch to Meet with an admin configuration and a Meet license using the same hardware. And with that, that's all I have to share with you today. Thank you so very much for joining me and for your business. Please continue to ask your questions here. We promise to address all of your questions. If there are any we don't cover during our time together, we'll, we will certainly get to them uh, and answer uh, and share them in the community. I hope you found this session useful and have a great day. Awesome. Thank you, Kim. And yes, thank you all for the great questions. Look forward to collaborating with you both in the community. After this call, keep an eye out for kind of the comprehensive write-up of this session, the recording itself, and um, further Q&A. But thanks, Kim. Great session. And thank you for joining all of you. And have a great rest of your day. Bye, everyone.